What's going on YouTube? It's Drew Lefty NDV10. Um, gonna probably be my last video for 2021, considering today is December the 30th. Um, and I've just got three cards, three Hall of Fame T206. Um, had these for quite some time. Just, uh, I don't know. I've got this weird way I try to mix in some Hall of Famers with some commons to make the videos interesting. But um, I'm just going to throw these three guys in here. Um, some pretty big hitters. This card picked up a lot of traction, uh, as did most Tito 6 cards. But uh, this one in general, very, very nice. Super happy to have this. Uh, that's a scratch on the case, not on the card. But uh, this is Zach Wheat. Fantastic ball player. Fantastic story. Um, a lot of people consider this his rookie issue. Correct me if I'm wrong down below, but I don't think I am. Uh, but very, very nice color on this card. I want to get this one into a new slab as soon as possible. Um, fairly well centered. It is a three and a half, so pretty nice looking back there. Piedmont 460. Love it. You can see the uh, Brooklyn there on his jersey. I like Tito 6. Um, Obviously, it's my favorite set. It's what I've put 99% of my budget into the past uh, couple years. Um, but I love the, the cards. Some of them have uh, logos on the hats. It just wasn't common. Um, so, I really like that. Very cool, Zach Wheat. Uh, next up, this is a pretty tough card, and his stuff has skyrocketed. And I got this for a great price in Tobacco Row. I think I picked this card up in March. It's just been on my desk since then. But this is uh, Mordecai Brown, Chicago on shirt. In a two and a half. I upgraded. I had a two. So I picked up a two and a half. It's got a couple couple wrinkles up here. But this is a very beautiful two and a half. Uh, I've got threes that don't, that don't look this good. So I was very happy to get this. Um, Mordecai Brown. Mordecai three finger Brown. Look up a picture of that dude's hand that kind of looks like this that's like literally an ac accurate representation of what his hand would look like so uh lost it in a farming accident as a boy uh like one and a half fingers so dude had some wicked spin on his pitches could manipulate the ball very well um they usually matched him up against the next guy in this video when the cubs played the giants and he normally fared fairly well against them this is a sweet Caporal 350-30, so pretty common back. But uh, that front is gorgeous for the Chicago Cubs. And then the last card, this one is huge. Uh, this was a huge upgrade for me. I had a uh, an SGC 1 before this card. And um, I had picked up that 1 as a part of like this incredible buy that I had um, in January of 2020, I believe it was. Jesus, was it 2019? It may have been 2019. Oh, my God. Anyways, uh, it had been uh, kind of a hole in my set for a long time as the SGC won, but I was able to upgrade for a fantastic price on this card. Matty Whitecap. This is a very tough Hall of Famer, this card. Um, Matheson has three poses in the set, white cap, a portrait, and then a dark cap. The dark cap... Uh, for whatever reason, has just almost caught up to value uh, to this card. Makes no sense. The Dark Cap is a uh, uh, super print. It's one of the most printed cards in the set. It has no business being anywhere near the value that this card brings, but that's where we are in today's market. So in any case, I am stoked to have this two and a half. Beautiful image. Um, a really nice, clean Matty White Cap is like one of the best registered cards uh, in the set. Just looks so good. If you got 30 seconds, just Google uh, Tito 6 image proofs. The proof image for the Matty White Cap, which, you know what? It's my video. You guys are along for the ride. I may have a picture of it. If I do, I'm going to pull it up real quick and show you. Let's see. I think I do. Got a couple magazines that uh, have some really cool variations. We're going to put him there for just a minute. 
so I can show you what I'm talking about if it's in here. It may not be. So, cool story. I actually own that card. Uh, there's the Eddie Plank proof, which would have been one of the best Hall of Famers in the set, in my opinion, if it had been issued. Well, bummer. It's not in here. In any case, guys, um, oh, yes, yes, it is. I lied. Go look up the high res, uh, image of that card. The, it's just incredible. It looks like they just used a regular photograph, so. That is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful and safe new year. Oh, this is a 649 overprint as well, so pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.